Hi, I'm Katie Flower, and I'm a door hardware nerd. I've been with Osobloy for 15 years, and currently I am a training specialist. So I get to work with a lot of different people, teaching installation, teaching building codes, product knowledge, uh, and use, different things like that. I really enjoy it. I'm a door hardware nerd for so many different reasons. I write song parodies of door and hardware. The first one I ever wrote was back in 1988 to the tune of Under the Boardwalk called Sell Him a Boardlock. Um, I, I will watch movies or TV shows and be shouting at the television, that door can't lock automatically behind them with a deadbolt on it. That just isn't possible. Just all different kinds of things. I'm always taking pictures whenever I look at doors in a hospital or hotel or whatever. Uh, so I'm just a overall door hardware nerd. Plus I tell the best door jokes. It was pretty much instantaneous. I became a door hardware nerd first week that I started in the industry back in 1984. I fell in love with detailing doors and frames and I've just been at it ever since. The door hardware nerdiest thing I've ever done. One time coming back from vacation, I was really not feeling well and I was with my nephews. I didn't want them to know I wasn't feeling well because I didn't want to spoil their vacation. But as soon as we made it back, I said, guys, I've got to go to the emergency room. I'm not feeling well. And as I'm being wheeled down the hallway on a gurney headed towards the emergency room, trying to figure out what was wrong with me and why I was writhing in pain, the guy presented his credential to the card reader for the power operators to open the door and you could hear a clicking sound, but he had to present his badge twice. And as they're wheeling me through the opening, the doors are opening. I look up and I said, hey, that's a Corbin Rushwin 5470 surface vertical rod exit device. And it's the electric latch retraction. It was in a bind. The door was trying to open. The Norton power operator was trying to open the door before it could go through. And I'm telling them everything about the door as I'm writhing in pain on my way to the emergency room and even who to call. So I guess that's the nerdiest thing I've ever done. At the core of every door hardware nerd is someone who cares about your life safety and your security. It's called hardware because it's not easy. Doors and hardware represent one to two percent of the overall budget on a project, but represents about 98% of the problems and issues that you may run into. So let our door and hardware nerdiness help you. <laughs>